curious uh, what your parents thought when you said to them, uh, Mom, we are going to Poland. Yes, uh, so uh, first reaction of my mom, she was here maybe 10 or no, 15 years ago. And she told me like, um, okay, so you're going to Poland. And I was like, okay. She told me like, I'm going to Afghanistan. I was like, why are, why are you talking like this? And she was like, you know, I remember when I was there, it was really bad. Uh, people were, were waiting in the line for the milk, for the one bread. It was really bad. And I told her, okay, it was a long time ago. And my father was not there. He was on the job, at the job. And um, when I come here, I call her and I told her like, mom, you need to come because it's nothing like you told me. She was not in Warsaw back. She was in Krakow when she was uh, talking to me about her experience. And when she came here, she was like, wow, what they did in such a short time, because it's a short time, what Polish people did. Mara Wesowicz jest żoną zawodnika Legii Warszawa Marko Wesowicza. Pochodzi z Czarnogóry i chociaż nie spodziewała się tego po sobie, pokochała piłkę nożną. Udziela nam wartościowej lekcji historii Czarnogóry, opowiada o zabawie na bałkańskim weselu i o tym, że Marko pracuje bardzo ciężko w trakcie sezonu, ale podczas wakacji staje się bardzo rozrywkowy. Zastanawiamy się też, czy piłkarz Legii poradziłby sobie w topowych ligach. Dzień dobry Państwu, ja nazywam się Błażej Łukaszewski. Dzisiaj jesteśmy w stolicy na Stadionie Legii Warszawa. Mistrzowie Polski od blisko pół roku muszą radzić sobie bez Marko Weszowicza. Dzisiaj spotykamy się z jego żoną Tamarą. Hello Tamara, dzień Hello. dobry. Dzień dobry. How are you in those difficult times? I'm good, I'm always good. Healthy? Healthy, yeah. What is the most important now is to be healthy. First question, how is uh, health of Marko? The health of Marco is, is now getting better. If you're asking about his leg, he is very strong, he's training very hard and for now he's doing a very good job to be ready for the preparation camp, camp in January. And about virus, everything is fine. Mm -hmm. Thank you God, so everything is fine. You are in Warsaw almost three years. Do you enjoy Warsaw? Yes, uh, I'm in Warsaw uh, almost three years. I came here first time on my birthday uh, in February. Uh, so yes, I enjoy Warsaw. First, I was a little bit skeptical before we came here. Why? Uh, I don't know. Warsaw never was like in my, in my plans to visit or like to come here touristically. And I will make a huge mistake because now I really love Warsaw and uh, we love it so much that we bought apartment here. So this is like, our city, uh, our second home. Mm -hmm. You have born in Podgorica, yes. the same as Marko. Yes. So how long uh, you know to each other? Well, um, first time we met, uh, we did we didn't be, we haven't been friends. We we were in a relationship, but um, we were uh, go because Podgorica is a small city, so we were going in the same primary school. And um, I remember him uh, through the corridors of our school because we were so we were so small. It was like first or second grade of primary school. So I remember him, but we never talked or we never uh, hang out. Mm -hmm. So the first time we met, we were like developing a relationship. 
after after Kulica. budućnost uh, he went to red star uh, you probably heard about uh, because red star is very famous club in uh, belgrade in serbia so he went there and he stayed there for four years uh, and after that uh, he signed for uh, torino and after torino rijeka and after rijeka here warsaw leg hours because for me the most important thing is to be uh, together with with marco mm-hmm. so for example in uh, torino it was very nice i mean it's italy torino is the capital city of the piemonte uh, regia mm-hmm. and it's it, city is beautiful and we know italia italian people italian living italian uh, uh, kitchen everything was perfect but marco was not so happy there so for me was not whole package mm-hmm. you know mm-hmm. so um he was not happy because he was very young he came from from belgrade uh, where he played more than 100 games to torino and it was a little bit hard for him to adjust there so after that we went to rieka first two years in rieka were like disaster because he didn't play we have a lot of tra- problems there but then what kind af- of problems in rieka well problems that he didn't play you mm-hmm. know when uh, somebody but for you to live in the city rieka is say? very small city very very small mm-hmm. city but it's on the perfect uh, geographic location you are close to italy oh. yeah so it's very nice small city but i couldn't see it when my husband was not happy So I was like, okay, we came here only for six months. We will stay only six months. We stay four, de- four years. And in the end of story, I decided to give a birth there mm-hmm. because I fell in love with the city. I fell in love with people there. So the, the best people in the whole world are in Rijeka. Mm-hmm. And Marco, in the end, he played. He was the best player in the whole league. And they announced him for the heart of Rijeka. So I couldn't ask for more. Mm-hmm. And I'm so proud that uh, we lived there, that I gave a birth uh, to Leona there. So if you ask me about living, about like how I felt, Rijeka is number one. Mm-hmm. Like Rijeka is number one because you are walking there, people are saying hi to you, you are going uh, uh, outside and everybody is smiling everybody is in a good mood so you can't be in a bad mood uh, but about the city torino is more beautiful than than rieka but as i told you it was not the same feeling How do you support Marco in his career? This is most important role in his career? Uh, I think so. I will not say now for me, like, yes, I'm the most important, but I hope I am and I'm doing my best. But during the years, I became a huge fan of football. I would never say that, but Mm -hmm. I became a huge fan of football. I can't imagine Uh, one day without talking with Marco about football, without, um, for example, after the game, I know exactly what mistakes he he did. It's not a lot of mistakes, but you know, I'm always encourage him to shoot more on the goal, everything because he's kind of a player who is playing for the team, always for the team. Mm-hmm. Maybe And too much. You, you, maybe you too mean? much. Mm-hmm. Yeah, And I'm always like. Go alone, go alone. And for example, if you will see me on the stadium, you will probably think that I'm not normal, that I'm really crazy. Yeah, but I can't. I'm so temper and I I have a bad temper. So when the... You are from Montenegro. That's yes, I'm, I'm from Balkan. So Balkan people are... You can see also on, from, on Marco. Mm-hmm. Marco is on the pitch like a lion. So you, he, he is crazy and nobody can... Um, attach him on the pitch and out of the pitch. Mm -hmm. Nobody can connect those two person because out of the pitch, he's very calm, Uh, he's very easygoing, uh, smiling. And on the pitch, if you 
that he doesn't know to lose. Mm -hmm. And that's the that's his character, so he can't lose. You know, a lot of players say that in the home they are very silent, but on the pitch there is a war. Yeah. Uh, but for Balkan people it's very, very normal, for, yeah. I think. Uh, in Legia <laughs> there are a few players from Balkan. Do you yes. have contact? Uh, of course, uh, we have um, friends. He, they are not like just contact. We, they are our friends. It's Doma Gojantolic. Uh, and his wife and his uh, son. Then we ha then now it's Filip Mladenovic is here. From Lechia Gdansk. Yes, from Lechia Gdansk, from your favorite club. And uh, also um, um, Marko and Filip Mladenovic, they were playing together in uh, Red Star, mm -hmm. in Belgrade. Yeah. So we know each other for like 10 years. So yeah, we are friends. There uh, and uh, there was uh, Miroslav Radović. Yes. He's our friend and um, Sandro Kulenović. He's now in Rijeka. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So a lot of players was here from Balkan. I think people from people from Poland like Balkan people because yeah. I can see a lot of Balkan people in extra mm. We are the same people. Yeah. We are the same people back in history. We are the same people, but uh, two separate countries. Uh, it was Yugoslavia, mm -hmm. then uh, everything fell apart. But Serbia and Montenegro, we were one country until uh, 2006. Yeah. And then after uh, that year, we split. Why but did it happen? It happened because of the politic reasons, because also there was like people who wanted it, people who are strict against it so i don't know it happened because i don't know somebody wanted it somebody didn't want so it was a huge mess uh, but we are the same people when you are traveling you only need your uh, id you don't need a um, passport it's not so hard to travel uh, between those two countries and uh, i don't know uh, i uh, love my country my country is montenegro but also, I love Serbia. My mom is from Serbia. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So it's, it's very complicated to go there and to talk about it because I have my own opinion, but it's um, very, uh, how to say, sensitive topic. Mm -hmm. So anything you can say, there you have like a group of people who disagree. Mm -hmm. And Balkan people, like you said, we are very temper, so I don't want to uh, make somebody angry or that somebody will think, oh, what, are, what is she talking about? How is it to go for a Balkan wedding? Oh! How long it lasts? One week? Seven days? Uh, well, <laughs> uh, no, it's not lasting one week, uh, but uh, it's, you need to come. I can't explain you how uh, I can't even tell you how it is because um, you need to feel it. Uh, mm, if you are asking me about those weddings for seven days, they're usually in Serbia, but uh, now it's a modern time. So a lot of uh, my, uh, my uh, friends and Marco's friends, they are not doing it that way. They are doing like a huge party and uh, it lasts from six in the morning until six in the morning next day. Mm -hmm. You are celebrating all day. Mm -hmm. What what is the atmosphere on the matches in in, uh, in Monten Poland and in the Balkan? Oh, and the similarities okay. when Legia plays against Lech? Yes, of uh, course with the fans. Not, yeah, not of course now. with the fans. Um, yes, similarities are uh, huge, but I need to say that um, Crvena Zvezda, Red Star, yes. they are. The fans like you never seen before, but really, I'm not like over uh, over talking about them or something. No, they are really fans. Like um, because of them, I started to love football. Yeah, so they are really crazy. But of course, if you play good, they are very good. If you play bad, you can't go outside. You can't go anywhere. So and it's dangerous for the members of family, even. You and I would not say like it's dangerous that somebody will. I don't know, uh, hurt you, but it's um, they expect from you to win everything because you know Red Star is really, really huge club. So they expect from you to win every game, maybe similar like here.
Gileta wants Legia to win everything and they have every right to want it because Legia is the biggest club in, in Poland. Mm. So, I don't know, look at the stadium, look at everything. They should be winning. So, but uh, the same like Marco is very professional. So when he loses the game, he is very like focused on um, what he can do to make it better, to make it win the next one. Um, so it's similar like uh, cheering, uh, it's very loud. They always have some nice, uh, nice uh, choreographic. Mm -hmm. So it's, to, to that point, it's very similar. The game, Marco and all other players are standing here and upstairs is like um, uh, entrance for the parking, there I park my car and going there I can see him, sometimes he sees me and he sends me a kiss, I send him back and we are going up and watching the game. You are here almost three years. Yes. Mówisz po polsku? A, troszeczkę mówię po polsku. A dlaczego tylko troszeczkę? A nie wiem, ale rozumiem wszystko. A rozumiem. powiedz coś po polsku. E, może Zaś, zaśpiewaj, mo powiedz, powiedz coś po polsku. Co jest powiedz? What is Say, po tell. A, okej. Okay. Um, może torbeczka? Może to... torba, torba, torbeczka, e, kiedy Back? jestem, tak, kiedy mm -hmm. jestem w supermarket, mm -hmm. Aha, e, e, mama przyjdzie, mama przyjdzie zaraz, mm -hmm. mama przyjdzie, e, kiedy moja ciorka jest e, w przedszkole, okay. to ja mówię, mm -hmm. Leona mówi po polsku, tak, Le Leona, Leona, wszystko mówi po polsku. I'm, I'm curious uh, what your parents thought when you said to them, uh, mom, we are going to Poland. Yes, uh, so uh, first reaction of my mom, she was here maybe 10 or no, 15 years ago. And she told me like, um, okay, so you're going to Poland. And I was like, okay. She told me like, I'm going to Afghanistan. I was like, why are, why are you talking like this? And she was like, you know, I remember when I was there, it was really bad. Uh, people were, were waiting in the line for the milk, for the one bread. It was really bad. And I told her, okay, it was a long time ago. And my father was not there. He was on the job, at the job. And um, when I come here, I call her and I told her like, mom, you need to come because it's nothing like you told me. She was not in Warsaw back. She was in Krakow when she was uh, talking to me about her experience. And when she came here, she was like, wow, what they did in such a short time, because it's a short time, what Polish people did. My first goal when I came here, because I really loved everything, but I wanted to discover more about Warsaw and more about history. So I, um, my first stop was uh, Warsaw Uprising Museum and I went there two or three times. Three times. I was there three times and uh, it's really impressive what uh, Poland have been through, what people from Poland have been through. So it's really like um, you should be all proud what you did and how you rebuilt City of Ruins because I saw that um, people called Warsaw City of Ruins. Uh, what about Marco? He, he likes to go party? for a party, yeah? Oh, yes. Yeah? Yeah, but it's very Drink hard. Drink alcohol also? It's very hard to convince him to go to a party even if they have a day off. Because when, uh, when it's a season, very hard. Mm -hmm. Like, 
impossible. But it's okay, he's a professional footballer. Yes, but, on the but sometimes I want to kill him because sometimes like you have a f day off. It's perfectly normal for you and to you go tell, out. Oh, you want to go. Yes, just just go and like drink a beer. No, no, no. But when it's a break, when it's like a, a winter break or summer break, then yes, then he's partying every day. But he is like he has a really good self control. Me, I don't have it at all. So mm -hmm. when I drink, it's bad because. Um, there were a lot of um, good clubs coming and uh, like um, asking for for Marco before the injury. But from which leagues? I don't ask you about names I really of the clubs. I really can't club. say, but it's you like can. the group from the five best best league in the okay. in the world. Seria. Because I really think no, <laughs> because I really think that he is he can play easy. In, in top five leagues in the world. He really can play easy. But um, it's always something, like now it's injury. So maybe it's it was not meant to be. Maybe we are waiting for something even better. Maybe we will stay in Legia. Maybe we want to stay in Legia. Maybe we don't uh, care about uh, top five leagues. Maybe we really love life here mm -hmm. and uh, love uh, fans and love Legia, so maybe we want to stay here. You never know. You have a lot of players who want to stay. I don't know, for example, you have Tadic, who is 14 years in Ajax. Yeah. And he doesn't care. He can't play anywhere uh, he wants, but he wants to stay there. So. Uh, Marco has a twin brother. Tell me any funny stories. Oh, because please. I'm sure that they are. Yes, he's, uh, he's um, younger brother. It's like he's younger five minutes. And uh, it's always a funny story because uh, first I met Nicola. His name is Nicola, then I met Marco. So, okay. yes. Uh, but, uh, okay, uh, the first story that crossed my mind is when we were in Torino, everybody were thinking that it's Marco. It's not Nicola, it's Marco. And Marco was on the pitch. So I was like, how, how you can think like what his double? because he was on the pitch, so they were like taking photos with him, because in Italy... Maybe any knew that he's a brother, but just wanted to have no, a photo No, they were brother. thinking it's Marco. Like, was, Marco, they were convinced Marco, that it's yes, Marco. Yes, they wanted an autograph. Because in, 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 in Italy, when you are a player of the, of the Serie A, they don't care if you are like a captain, or you are on the bench, or you are... They love you. I uh, studied econ facu uh, Faculty of Economics in, uh, in uh, Montenegro. Uh, I don't have any business, but uh, I uh, recently started my YouTube channel. I have my vlogs. Yeah. Mm, about? And it's about lifestyle, about family, family lifestyle, about... Uh, I like fashion, mm -hmm. like all the girls do, so about fashion, but now I uh, have some ideas to influence on people to to be more uh, like open to the people who don't have money and don't have, um, for example, now I have one, uh, one uh, thing I will do in Belgrade, it's um, about orphan and about the, the presents for orphan kids. Mm -hmm. It's so little uh, to do for me, yeah. and for them it's, it means a lot. Do you believe in God? Of course. How important is He in your life? In your and in, in for the Marco? Yes, uh, to be honest, Marco, let's say, transferred all this love and uh, beliefs uh, so it's very important, yes, very important. And uh, I think uh, the most important thing in in life is just to be good as a person. For me, this is the like uh, crucial. Just to be like a good person and to never harm anybody, like in Bible. And uh, our, our um, faith 
is the, the, the principle of our faith is love, which is very beautiful. Uh, because I uh, really um, think that if uh, you are a good person, if you are doing good things, all those stuff are coming back to you mm -hmm. in a good way.